Hello, and welcome back to the N-Squared World Domination Society. Today, we will be building an Arduini, which is the microcontroller most all of my projects will use when a microcontroller is needed. Also, a good way to improve your soldering skills is to buy about 10 of these and put them together. As always, the Arduini is linked in the description. Alright, first things first, you're going to want to put the two yellow capacitors in the slots labeled C1 and C2, which are the rightmost, assuming the side with the half circle mark is right, and the third from the right slots. Then, put those newfound soldering skills to the test and solder the capacitors into place. As a reminder, always wear some sort of eye protection when cutting the legs off because they can fly off in any direction, and I had about seven bounce off my glasses making this Arduini alone. Now for the resistors. Place the 10k resistor, which is the gold, orange, black, brown one, in between the two capacitors in the R1 slot. Then, in the R2-D2 slot, place the 4.7k resistor, which is the gold, red, blue, yellow one. The R2 slot is the third one from the left. After that, place the LED in the circular slot on the left. Make sure it is facing the right way so the flat side on the LED lines up with the flat side on the mark. This LED is connected to pin D13, so if you use that pin in your code, the LED will turn on and off, so keep that in mind when using the Arduini. Next, solder the blue capacitor into the 3 hold slot in between the leftmost capacitor and the 4.7k resistor. After that, solder the reset button into the leftmost slot next to the LED. It doesn't matter which way the button faces, it will work either way. Then place the strip of 6 pins, that technical name escapes me, into the PRG slot under the rightmost capacitor and resistor short side first as shown. Next, place the two 14 pin whatchamacallits on the underside of the Arduini long side first so the T on the side of each pin is upside down. This and the next part are the reason why this makes you really good at soldering very quickly. Finally, place the microcontroller in between the 14 pinned Hoosie Whatsits and make sure the side with the white dot in the indent line up with a half circle mark on the right side of the Arduini or else it won't work. Here you can see the finished Arduini in all its blurry, professional, lack of a cameraman glory. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider liking and sharing it. Subscribe so you can catch all the amazing robotics, electronics, and 3D printing projects I have planned. Thanks for watching. Next, slaughter the blue. Slaughter? <laughs>